it's empty. Now we move on to a new journey. We made it not to where I'm going, but another house. So I'm kind of starting the vlog off in a weird place. I'm still here in the US, I'm in Florida. I know it's not obvious, but I am in a different house. I'm at my mom's house for the last night, and tomorrow I'll be traveling to a new country. So I hope uh, you'll be joining me for the journey. I was already awake. All right, now I'm in the car. We're on our way. My sister's driving me, and we're on our way all the way to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. That's the only reason we're on the highway. I'm not in the airport yet, so. We got well, about 80 miles. 80 miles, yeah. On I-75. Yeah, we got 96 miles. Only hour 16. We've been driving about 45 minutes, so. <laughs> and that's her son in the background. Say hi, Miles. Oh, he actually waved. <laughs> And then he cried. So, anyways, we'll be there. We'll be there soon. All right. So I got here to the airport. Turns out I got here way too early. I'm not surprised though. I got here like eight hours before my flight even takes off. But apparently, I can only check in my bag six hours before, and um, it's like eight hours before. So I have to wait outside of security for about two hours before I can check in my bags. It's unfortunate, but I'm gonna have to sit through the chaos of the airport and um, just hope everything goes well. So we'll, we'll see how that process goes. It's gonna be a long wait. Tried to be the first one on the plane. Obviously, that wasn't gonna work. Everyone was basically a cluster fuck getting on the plane, but we on now, so everything's good. Hey, hello. Pedir su cooperación. Una vez más, le estamos avisando. Adelante, gusto. Le buscamos. For once, there's actually decent leg space for my legs. I can't believe it. Out of any plane I've ever been on. And we made it. We are now in Lima, Peru. Finally, finally, finally. I've been waiting such a long time. Um, I'm recording this next morning because I was doing a little bit of... Last night, as you, as you can probably tell. And um, now I can kind of show you guys my hotel room and show you a little bit about what it looks like. Obviously, I'm living here in Peru, so I'm gonna have an apartment. I'm gonna show you guys what my apartment looks like um, here in the next couple of days. Actually, today I'm going to my apartment to get the tour and sign the paperwork and make sure everything is good to go. Um, and then within the next few days, I'm gonna be doing a, another apartment tour in another country. It's kind of crazy, I know, it's insane. But here's the bathroom. Like I said, everything's a mess, I've already been here. Uh, for the night, my toothbrush, uh, I got the sink, two gigantic mirrors, so that's me, what's up? 
And then we have a uh, nice little bathtub, pretty big bathtub, but you know, I'm still bigger than everything here. And then you got the uh, noodle shower head thing, you know, these uh, Korean style shower heads. These are getting really popular like everywhere for some reason. You get a nice close up mirror so you can look at yourself very closely. The toilet's pretty standard as usual. You get what I assume is a safe, you know, to protect all your assets. And then I just now check this out. This, is this a fridge? Sure is, but there is absolutely nothing in there, so that is worthless to me. And then finally, the most important part, if my damn windscreen wouldn't keep getting in the way, the most important part out of everything is the main area, the bedroom. And as you can tell, again, as I mentioned, it's still a mess in here. <laughs> I've thrown a bunch of my clothes underneath there. But I have a nice giant king size bed made for a king, of course, so it only makes sense. A TV that looks like it's still back uh, in time in 2008 um, that's using an old Dish Network receiver or whatever that is. But then again, you know, it's Lima, Peru, and not everything is completely up to date with where we're at in the United States. So I expected and already knew these things coming here. And then I actually have not taken a look at my view. I'm on the eighth floor. I think this hotel that she said has 21 floors, which is kind of crazy. Let me see if I can open this. This is my view in Lima, Peru on the eighth floor. Very nice. Today it's uh, very cloudy, obviously. We're going into uh, winter time here. Um, because Lima's in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, obviously everything is opposite in terms of season, um, but it does not really get that cold here. I think uh, 59 or, fi you know, it actually gets down close to 50, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, as the low. But even then, with some of the humidity that we have here in the city, it's uh, really not that bad, honestly. And then the high is 70, which is just beautiful, so it's a uh, very pleasant weather. And a swimming pool down there, and I thought really anyone's going to be using that right now, especially in the season. Maybe during the uh, high point of today, it might be uh, used a little bit more, who knows. But that's it, guys. I finally made it to Lima, Peru. And I'm so excited to be here. Um, I'm gonna be in this hotel for a few nights. And then like I said, I'm gonna be in the hotel, or excuse me, in my apartment. And I will be making a video on that and showing you guys the tour of what it's like to be in a, an apartment in Lima, Peru. I'm, I'm so excited and um, it's been, uh, it hasn't actually been that long of a journey to get here. I mean, I got here all in the same day, which is pretty impressive. But then again, Latin America and, you know, in the U.S. are right next to each other. So I would hope it only take me a day and I try to make sure I had that nonstop flight, which actually felt like a lot longer than I expected, even though it was only a six hour flight because I've done 14, 16 hour flights. But anyways, I'm just rambling. But now I am going to go get breakfast. I'm gonna finally head out, go see my apartment, sign the paperwork, get a SIM card. As I mentioned before, SIM cards are so important when you move to any new country or even just visiting. You know, that way you don't rack up an insanely large phone bill from your home country. I definitely suggest getting a SIM card as soon as possible. And I'm gonna get all that done today, probably edit this video, and um, I'm just excited to be here. I really am, I'm, I'm genuinely so excited. There's so much content opportunities that I can bring to you guys. And um, like I said, I'm here for the long term. I know Vietnam was kind of a, a toss up, but uh, here it's different. I really have came here with a different mentality, different preparations. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm very excited to see what the future is like, uh, you know, with regards to that. And then hopefully creating a lot of content for you guys. One thing I would really suggest you guys go to is my Instagram. I'll put it right here. Definitely go to my Instagram, check it out. Um, I'm posting almost daily stories of just random things I see in Peru. I actually have a highlight um, of my adventures in Peru, including my adventure starting from the very beginning um, at home, basically coming all the way here, and then I'll be posting nearly daily content in Peru. and. Um, just who knows what, what you guys will see on there. Maybe some random stuff, stuff from clubs, maybe stuff, of, you know, restaurants, me eating things. Who knows, man? I definitely would uh, check it out, though. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. Like I said, check out my Instagram, any other social media I have in the description below. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. That has got to be one of the biggest birds I've ever seen in my life. For two of them, what the hell are those? They look like giant vultures. I would not get anywhere near those things.